What up, folks? Once again, it's your boy Tim, the handsome liberal. What if Cal Rittenhouse was black? Would he still be chided as a self-defense hero? Would people still be celebrating and donating tons of money to him? I'm asking this question because this was submitted to me on social media. And like I often say, uh, anything you drop in the comments will be responded to, uh, as I often do. And this is a case of where something turned into an actual video. So, yeah, in the future for topics and things like that, feel free to drop a comment and we go from there. What if Cal Rittenhouse was black? How do I feel about that? I don't think it would have made a major difference. I really don't. And I'm going to explain that to you. Have you ever heard of the phrase, you know, don't kill the messenger? Well, I'm going to go into it. But before I do, I'm going to ask that you do what I always ask you to do. Show your boy some love. I drop videos like this every day. Feel free to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you'll get these gems when I'm dropping them. And at the end of the video, hit thumbs up if you're feeling me. If not, feel free to hit the thumbs down. Drop me a comment. Let me know why. And as I said, we often respond to those. Why don't I believe it would make a difference regardless if Kyle Rittenhouse was a black guy as opposed to the white guy that he is? Well, like I just said a second ago, this is an issue of, of the messenger, not necessarily anything else. And what I mean by that is the folks that are chiding Kyle Rittenhouse as a hero are overwhelmingly by ridiculous standards, anti-Black Lives Matter. And we know the event, the protests, the riots, everything in Kenosha that was going on was about Black Lives Matter, organized by Black Lives Matter. The, the, the phrase was being yelled everywhere. I mean, it was a Black Lives Matter rally. So anyone, whether they're white, black, Asian, blue, anyone that can deliver a blow to Black Lives Matter it's going to be a friend of the program, so to speak. It's kind of like the video I made yesterday titled, An Enemy of My Enemy is My Friend. And what I mean by that is if you do not like Black Lives Matter, anyone else that does not like Black Lives Matter is also your friend. doesn't matter what color they are. Candace Owens doesn't like Black Lives Matter. She's black. And they love her. So I don't believe it would have made a major difference if Kyle Rittenhouse was black. As long as he dealt a blow to Black Lives Matter. Now, if he had uh, found himself being attacked by, if Cal Rittenhouse was black and he was walking down the street or at the Waffle House, this is a case that really happened, a black guy at a Waffle House, three guys walked in talking racist shit to him and tried to fight him and he ended up shooting and killing one of them. He's not a hero because he did not, he did not kill the proper messenger. Now, another way to explain this, and I'm sure I'm going to get some dislikes, and hopefully YouTube doesn't ban what I'm about to say, but if you are a Caucasian or a white person that is pro-Black Lives Matter, and what I mean is there's a lot of white people that are attending Black Lives Matter rallies. In fact, I mean, there are Black Lives Matter rallies in just about every city in America that has a population of over 50,000 people. And oftentimes there's virtually nobody black there. So there is a heck of a lot of people that sympathize with Black Lives Matter that are white. If you are a white person that sympathizes with the causes of Black Lives Matter, like I said, I'm going to say this as clear as that you are a modern day version of a nigger lover. There's no other way I can say that. I know it sounds horrible. I'm sure I'm going to get some dislikes, particularly for my right wing friends. But yeah, if you sympathize with black civil rights causes, even if you're white, you qualify. You can get it too. That's historically been the way it is. If you're no, you are not a friend of the program to anyone who dislikes these people. Now, if you want to call, you want to say they're not racist, I'm not going to argue whether it's racist or not. There are people, plenty of people who dislike L Sharpton or dislike Jesse Jackson that are white and they claim they ha it has nothing to do with racism. I'm not going to, I'm not here to debate that, but I'm just simply saying if you hate Al Sharpton, anybody else that hates Al Sharpton too is a friend. The enemy of the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And Cal Rittenhouse was an enemy of Black Lives Matter. There's no doubt about that. And if Cal Rittenhouse was a black enemy of Black Lives Matter, they would have celebrated and chided him 
probably close to the same. I'm, I'm going to say, you know, maybe there's a few here or there. Uh, in regards to maybe the few that are racist, you might say, well, they would prefer it was a white guy killing black members of Black Lives Matter. I'm not here to debate that. I'm just going to simply say that I strongly believe that this was a, an issue of Cal Rittenhouse killing a mutual enemy. You know, that's that's pretty much the only... I mean, and that that is... That is done on a lot of avenues. I mean, if you go to a white prison, for instance, and you're a black gangbanger, the rival black gangbangers that was your rival in the cities are suddenly your friend if you're in a jail full of white people. The enemy of, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And Kyle Rittenhouse, yeah, he's an enemy to Black Lives Matter, no doubt about that. And the minute he dealt the blow to Black Lives Matter, all of the enemies of Black Lives Matter came out of the woodwork in support of him. That's how that works. Now, I'll give you another good example of a Cal Rittenhouse that was black that did not kill the proper messenger. I did a video yesterday, um, and it fell along the same lines of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I keep saying that because it has a lot of play here. I did a video and I featured Michael Byrd. Michael Byrd is a black Capitol Police officer. And I compared him starkly to Kyle Rittenhouse because they have one huge thing in common. They both used a firearm in self-defense against rioters and looters. Um, Michael Byrd was black, black Capitol Police officer. He was behind a, a, a glass where several of the Trump supporting insurrectionists were trying to bust through. And when Ashley Babbitt and her group cracked the window and they were about to come through yelling all of this hate and anger, he shot and killed her. Now, once again, they were in the Capitol building, no doubt, documented on video, rioting and looting. I mean, they were stealing podiums and letters and, you know, yelling, hang Mike Pence, who's the vice president of the United States. There's no way to sugarcoat what happened at the Capitol building. And he used a firearm and killed a white woman in self-defense. Nobody in the Republican Party is saying that he's a fucking hero because he killed the wrong messenger. He killed Trump supporting insurrectionists. They are, they are the good guys if you are a right winger. You don't kill them. If that same group was Black Lives Matter storming the Capitol building and, and a black Michael Byrd killed them, once again, he'd be a hero because he killed the correct messenger. So what I'm trying to get across to you is that this is less about the race of the shooter and more about the message being delivered from the deceased. Kyle Rittenhouse dealt a blow to Black Lives Matter by killing three of their sympathizers. Now, like, like I said before, there are some people who probably wish those sympathizers had been African-American, but I'm not here to argue about who's racist and who's not. I'm here to argue more on along the lines of the dislike and hatred to Black Lives Matter. Now, you can hate Black Lives Matter and not be a racist. However, there is a ton of racism that is involved in that. So I, once again, like I said, I'm not going to argue that back and forth. But I'm going to ask you. Before you hit that subscribe button, because like I said, you dropped this, I dropped that. But what do you think? Do you think if Kyle Rittenhouse was black and he shot and killed three Black Lives Matter sympathizers who were white in self-defense, do you think the right wing would have treated him differently? Do you think they would have still viewed him as a hero? I know everyone is totally not going to agree with me, and certainly I know a lot of the, the viewers on the right are not going to like me referring to the three uh, individuals that Kyle Rittenhouse shot, two are now deceased, are, as nigga lovers, as modern day nigga lovers. That's, that is exactly how I would, I would actually compare them. Now, I'm not saying, once again, I'm not going to completely throw this in race, in the terms of race, even though I'm using that term. I'm just simply saying a nigga lover was somebody who sympathized with Essentially, the enemy. You, sense, you, you sympathize with the wrong group. And that is what these three individuals that came after uh, Kyle Rittenhouse were doing. They were sympathizing with the wrong group. Now, I've said in previous videos that I do believe that it looks like it's a 
fairly strong case of self-defense for Rittenhouse and he probably will get off. So we're not here to argue whether or not, you know, the charges are legitimate or any of that bullshit. I'm just simply here to tell you my response to the submitted question of what do I think would happen if Cal Rittenhouse was black? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Once again, hit the thumbs up. If you kind of felt what I had to say, if you thought this was total bullshit, hit the thumbs down, drop me a comment, tell me why, and we will hash it out there. Once again, like I said, any current events, topics like that, that you feel might be worthy of a discussion in addition to what I normally drop, I'll let your boy in the comments, and it could result in a video just like this one. Tim, the handsome liberal. Catch you in the next video.